God, can you believe Jonas back there? Blaming me for everything. Me. I, I mean, dude. I can't imagine dealing with him the whole night. How have you not just, like, attacked him by now? It must be so annoying. His whole shtick. I'm being honest. It's, it's been cool. It's actually been kind of great, Ren, having him around, so I, I don't really know what to tell you. It's been great? Seriously? Looking at that face, hearing that voice? Why? What on earth could be great about that? He acts like, he acts like Jordan. Remember? You remember that guy? But I don't know, whatever. Ah, uh, man. Now I'm really glad I didn't let Ellie come tonight. I know you and my little sister have like this weird psychic connection when it comes to useless trivia or whatever, but boy, that would have been bad. I do not need a junior high schooler running around, threatening to tell dad how much of her life I've imperiled. Why, Why didn't you, you let her come? Because I wouldn't have been able to relax, you know? She'd tell mom. Oh, well, you wouldn't be able to get stuff. stoned. You know, she just turned 13. It just doesn't compute for me that Allison did this four years ago. She's all collegiate now. She was happy for me that it was oh. my turn to do this. Yeah, did um, Allie notice anything or experience I see, okay. anything weird when she that was That shed some light on a few things. Her friends didn't care about the cave thing, so they didn't bring a radio. They just screwed in the woods and went home. Allie said that uh, I'd be a little different when I came home. Like I'd been let in on a secret or uh, learned something. Do you think she knew about Wait, this? Do you? She couldn't have known what was going to happen, right? Nah. But yeah, when Allie got back, she said, God, what was it? She said there are times in your life when you really feel older. Like your first real fight, your first real apartment, first person you really care about dies, and you didn't know how young you really were until those moments happened, you know? But now you do, and it's behind you. Okay, so what did she do what, here? What did she do here? What happened? I don't know. She broke up with her boyfriend and went off to Amherst right after, so who knows? That's pretty major. Something happened that she's not telling him for sure. Wait, here's where we want to go. Hold on. We need to go down and then we need to go left. I think that's where I screwed up. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. Rain Man, definitely, yeah. Let's go. I'm hoping. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Let's go. Let's go. That was a major navigational issue on my part. I'd love if that gate just happened to magically open, though. I mean, obviously this Maggie Adler has some... There's something going on. Yeah, we've seen that one. This is good. That was a friggin' major detour. What's that like? Buzzing. Definitely want to go to Main Street to try and find the key. So the Parks and Facilities building is just on the way here. It's not far. Yeah. I just hope this whole thing works. It'll work. He's pretty confident. I like that. I like that in a man.
That's Alex. That's Clarissa. What? Where? How'd she get up there? Clarissa? Where? Oh, shit. What are you doing? She's alive. You're, you're alive. Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. <laughs> Holy. Oh, Jesus come on now. What is happening? Shit, that scared me. What it, I looked like when, when that stuff happened? Clarissa? Can you hear me? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. Oh, uh, can you, like, I mean, you helped me before, right? Can you help her? Is there, whatever you did, can you do it again? Uh, I don't even want to look at her. It's so, it's making my stomach churn. This happened to Jonas, too. It's, it's, uh, I don't know, it's like when they want to talk or something. Hey, we're not toys, guys. Okay. Marissa, how are we're going to open up a portal uh, here, honey. Alex, seriously. Help me with this a little. Clarissa, to start, can you? Whoa, that's quicker you think than. You can control me. Oh shit. I, what? I, I no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed, not a bit. But you're a fine girl. What? What more can we do? We're barely holding on to it. What more can you do? You can do your job. That's just for starters. You can be what you signed up for. What do you mean signed up for? The little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. What? Is she okay or... Um, that's a complicated question. Clarissa, are you alright? <sighs> Steady. Just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Are you sure? Because you took quite a little tumble. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. Nothing else. You remember how jumping from here? six stories up? You don't up? know how you got up there? You remember that part at least, right? Being up on the thing? There's been like time disturbances or something. And I think that's what's been teleporting people around. So, and we just had one. Time disturbances. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's yeah, asking what is me. This? I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the. This is what? this is a. It's Clarissa's turn. Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you. This is like the truth or dare thing, but like. Is gonna be, this is not the right I'm location. Not waste it. Alex. Things are getting mixed up. Explain why me and my best friend and your idiot best friend and your new stepbrother are all screwed. Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, God, seriously, she's still a bee. I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's a storm. It was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight. Oh, I didn't mean to throw him under the bus oh my like that. God. You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. To... Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa... forehead, and the giant lit up Christmas tree. Reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Holy shit, Clarissa! Because of her. Like, do you understand who you? It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last, God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa, Ugh, she you weren't there. No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared okay. to the bull Okay, I'm not listening to this anymore. I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's... Stop it. Right now, I mean it. Ren, it was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... You don't have to convince me of anything, Alex, believe me. Now we're gonna break into that office, we're gonna find the damn key, and we're gonna go home. No. No? 
What do you mean? All the outs and free. All the outs and free? Boy. It sounded like oxen free. I got a massive basket of deja vu dumped on my head just now. You ever get that? <sighs> I haven't had one of those since I saw those two brown dogs. Two it's what? like a... It feels like an iguana running up and down your spine or something. Yeesh. All right, the office is like right there, so let's do it. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we came here for the key or whatever it's going to end up being that lets us into the gate. So, Alex, let's get in the yeah, office. Yeah, dude, give me, give me a second. Yep, this isn't budging. All right, we're kicking this baby in. Like <laughs> a, a western or something. It'll be Let's fun. do it. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not going to complain. Well, it seems like the time loops are specific to each <gasps> person. I just wish I could remember what else she said. Like, I don't know, maybe where they not. even keep the keys or, like, where they stored the mail and stuff. Yeah, well, I'm sure, I'm sure it's, it's here. in here. Uh, somewhere. Hey. Know what kind of jet that is? I think it's a banshee. Is that really Used relevant? In the Korean War. Actually, it... Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a banshee. No, that's funny, right? We're dealing with ghosts and a banshee's painted on the ceiling. Right? It's like... I mean, it's not hilarious or whatever, <laughs> but it's... Uh, it's not... Comical. I mean... Um, maybe that went over my head, but... Because a banshee's a spirit. Come on, Alex, you know this. I mean, anybody who reads comic books knows this. I oh, mean, just forget it. Okay, fine. We'll give you that, I guess. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But uh -oh. it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that, here's another one. It says they're wall radios, wave-assisted lock. Oh, huh. well, I guess cool. it says it's that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open doors around here. They use them like identification tags, I think. It must open the gate, too. Uh, okay. Cool. Great. Oh, cool. Check this out. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been Everything carting her things back to town? Alpha. We can head back. November. I'm just gonna... Here, Tango. this is... To who Whoa. Okay, steal a boat and leave. Really? Wow. Whom it should concern. Classic opening. This island and its history is a lie. Wow, firing on all cylinders right at the start. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Many truths? Shh. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station, 140.1, and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons, and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh god, chores. I don't care if the soldiers secretly smoked opium or <laughs> got the village wives pregnant, I just want to get out of here. Okay, well, that's your opinion, let me finish this here. To whosoever finds the material, Know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden Comforted? and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself. Signed, Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had... Oh, I've... So, I'm just wondering if... Looks like we have to go up and we go all the way across. Yeah, okay. Seriously had like dreams about this finding a secret digging it up it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn Okay, hold up, please. We got the key. It's this new radio. That's the main thing So the radio November, Tango, Ant. India, Quebec, 
uniform. Echo. Eventually. What? Everything becomes a Alpha. November. Tango. India. Quebec. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. What is that? Okay, well, I'm gonna write this down a again. Alpha. November. Tango. India. Quebec. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. I have no clue what that means. I wrote down A N T I T U E, but it sounds like. Oh! <laughs> I thought she was saying Trebek, but I think she's saying Quebec, which is cool. And then that means antique. Everything becomes antique eventually. What? A N T I Q U E. Can we go to the cliffs? <laughs> Alex, why? So we have two options. We could go down and try to access our house from that way. Um, that's the way that I never went before, you so you know what, jacket? let's actually it's try like that. It's like 75 degrees, the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. It's, uh oh. It's cold, that's why. The sun is 1 p.m. last out, year. when you're in the shade, it drops to like 50. No, it doesn't. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I oh, thought we what said the we'd hell? bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Whoa, we are tripping out. Did I almost step on a crab or something? What? Why am I here? What, you don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. 70s. It's like the worst time. Where's, where's Jonas? He's Jonas. Be, who's Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is yeah. someone else coming? Yeah. Is that a friend of yours? It's gonna freak him out. Uh, just, uh, never mind. I guess. Okay, okay we're in these times. times. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today, which is actually be... not being a total bitch. A flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Asking these questions uh, is not going to get us anywhere, so yeah, let's just play um, along. It really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. <laughs> no, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. So now things are getting really weird. And it's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's what's uh, his face, Mr. Collins English? Truthfully, I've um I Ah, sorry. I think yeah, I <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry cuz I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. No. Think of something to tell me. That's tough, man. So, uh, <laughs> are you like faking it or pretending or something? Pretending? Uh, no. I mean, I meant when I said that this is this is a great day. I'm having a good time. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together, all of us. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time, 
<laughs> oh, Alex did this, and oh, Alex man. let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? <laughs> Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. <laughs> no, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right, sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no. I'll take a drink. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too. Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? Uh, this I did not I expect. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things I'm gonna be honest. Bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. And hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. It's cool. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? It's up to you, man. Oh, God. Do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay. I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Oh, it feels like I got shoes it's on his jacket. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> no, don't phase me out of here. Paco, you haven't called me that in years. We're losing it. Shit.